Yeah, no doubt indeed. This one, uh, this army, this two lap shootout is going to be fun to see who can get it done. Will we get a new winner? Will Zach Unson make something happen from the fourth position? We'll have to see here. Pace car is going to be coming in this time. Pace car in. Green flag is in the air. Restart away. RS Center with a great restart. Mario Orcolani, not the restart he needed to make a charge on the 110. Will he be able to get through turn two and do three and four? Maybe have a little bit of something for the 110 here at the egg, uh, end of this race. We see a lot of side by side driving. Ch uh, white flag is out, and it is the freaky fast white flag, and it is waved. The leader is taken. The white flag, the next one flag ends the race and here is Mario he's getting up there into striking range down the back straightaway going into turn three everyone single file trying to do the best they can Mario right on the bumper of the 110 but it's not going to be enough exiting turn four 110 RS Cent is going to take the checkered flag here tonight at National Fairground Speedway it's out it's official also closing in on some lap traffic that's going to be Alexander Light in the 97 but across the line it's our Fletcher Flores white flag in the air, Thomas Green trying to make his way through lap traffic and a little bit more of aggression. Watch out, Light putting the pressure on our leader there. Come to turn number two. Oh, yeah, definitely got a little dicey there between him and the lap car, Alexander Light, but no pressure now as they head down the back straightaway. As they'll have three and four for one final time, he's going to be a first time winner here in the truck series. The over aggression all season long, and all the DQs, all the times being taken out, but not tonight. Charlotte, it's going to go to Thomas Green, finally getting to victory lane in his best finish of the season. And same could be said for our third place finisher, Dakota Moniz. Both drivers, Zach, in their first top fives of the season. Man, oh man, great run there from Moniz. Great job by Green getting that first win, but definitely uh, there's going to be some talking points after this race, man, and I think you might see an unhappy driver here coming through the field here at the very end. Yeah, I would imagine a few uh, unhappy drivers on how this one went for themselves, and the one driver that's happy, that's Thomas Green. I mean, he finally gets the monkey off his back of when is he going to get the win. He's had so many great runs throughout this season. And the 15 now can finally say that he is a winner in the NAISCC Race Car Graveyard Truck Series. And uh, for season two, and for race number 11, comes in sixth. You can never call him never, but certainly it's been a strong run as coming out of turn number four. It's your going to be seeing European Wax Center white flag in the air. It's Vincent Sora, Sean Powell, two tenths is the difference. And Powell's really got to send it into these corners and hope that he can keep close enough. He's going to dug, dug deep. He's digging for everything. He's down to the white line. He's on the back corner panel. That's a great launch. He's going to be right there going into turn number three. Sean Powell, Vincent Sora, rookie v rookie. Who's going to get it done here at Vegas? And it's going to be Vincent Sora with the defensive line. Bobbles moves up to the 45. Sora out of turn number four. Powell's got one opportunity. It's not close enough. Back to back here for season four. It's the 15 of Vincent Sora.